Hey, I'm going to teach you how to hook your Sonic pad to your SV06 Plus. I also have them running on both my other SV06s. Um, it's a pretty quick install. I'm going to provide the files that you guys will need to do this. Alright, so first we're going to start out with the Sonic pad unplugged from the printer. We are going to put the bin file in the SD card that must be named firmware. Um, it, for some reason it would not work under firmware 321 or anything like that. But you put that in there, turn the printer on, you should get a blank screen here. Not really blank, but it still says just SV06 Plus. That's how you know Clipper is now on there. So now we will go back down to the pad. Alright, now that we're at the pad, we are going to plug in our flash drive. This has the printer config. It must be named printer. It can't be named anything else. Um, I have it configured to USB Four. I will teach you guys later how to switch USB ports if you want to do that. That is what my profile is configured for currently. We're going to go to other models. Next step. And since our flash drive is already in there, we just click next step again. It's not detected. Sometimes it just takes a second. So we're just going to sit here and wait. Um, usually if you have the same one, you'll see it will start flashing whenever it's ready. So now we go next step. And before we click next again, we're going to go ahead and plug in our printer to printer number four. Well, USB number four. And click loaded. Okay. Now it'll say loading for just a few seconds. All right. After the loading, it will say this. Just click okay. Next step. Make sure the fans are running whenever it says that it will go through here um what i like to do is keep the z offset at what it's at and i will teach you guys how to get your z offset properly set so it's going to go ahead and home now i don't have the home set perfect but i actually kind of do like where it's over here instead of perfectly in the middle All right, we're just gonna leave it at like five, go to the next step. It's gonna tell you it's wrong, just click okay. Start calibration. Now we're gonna go through the probing process. Since this is a big bed, it will mesh for quite a while. Um, I do have it set to 180 millimeters a second though. So it should do it fairly fast, but it does have uh, 10 vertical points that will do. And just real quick while it's probing, I'm going to show you guys how to change the USB port. So you're just going to go in here, click Control F on your keyboard, that'll pull up the search bar, type in USB. As you can see right here, we have USB port 4 right there. So if we wanted it on port 3, just change it to port 3, save it. Alright, now that it's done probing, we're just going to go to the next step, start your experience. All right, now that we're in, we can go ahead and start a test print. But since we don't have our Z offset set right, what we're going to do is take the filament out of the printer. And then we will take a piece of paper, what I like to use as just a old Creality manual. I mean, I like to use two pieces thick. And I will run that under the nozzle. And I will go in here, I will go to the adjust screen, and I will adjust the nozzle down until it barely touches, and then I will go up, usually about 0 .03. That is for PTG, it might be a little bit different but, uh, with what material you're using. So like I said, no filament in it, I can see it's clearly not touching, so we're going to keep dropping it down on the pad here until it slightly touches. Now that it is slightly touching, I'm going to go up just a hair. Just for reference, that's how far down I had to go. You might have to go a little less, you might have to go a little more. Now that we got that set, just barely not touching. And again, that's for PDG, might be different for your material. We're going to hit stop printing. I'm just going to go ahead and stop. 
and it will ask if we want to save and we are going to say yes all right so there's the save screen so you can just click save and restart and it will do exactly just that and you will be all ready to print keep in mind my profiles are for reliability so you could turn them up in speed quite a bit just by going to the uh, tune menu during your print but uh, that's about it if you guys have any questions any ideas anything you want to see done to this profile let me know